Douglas, the treasurer of the John S. Knight Memorial Journalism Fund. Each year, in conjunction with the Akron Press Club, we award a set of $5,000 scholarships to college journalism, public relations, and communication students from the Akron region. We've been doing so for more than three decades, awarding nearly $600,000 in scholarships. Ordinarily, we hold a luncheon in the spring to celebrate the scholarship winners. That hasn't been possible in this year of COVID. So we've put together this presentation as a way to recognize the nine outstanding young people who are our recipients. The Knight Memorial Journalism Fund awards five scholarships of $5,000 each. It does so to honor the legacy of John S. Knight, the Pulitzer Prize winning editor and publisher of the Akron Beacon Journal and founder of Knight Newspapers later Knight Ritter, a group of newspapers that included the Philadelphia Inquirer, Detroit Free Press, and Miami Herald. The 2020 Knight Scholars are Jenna Borthwick of Kent State University, who wants eventually to be a political and public policy reporter and analyst. She covered U.S. Senator Sherrod Brown's Dignity of Work Tour across South Carolina 2019. This is her second Knight Scholarship. Hello everyone, I'm Jenna Borthwick and I'm one of the 2020 Knight Scholarship winners coming to you live from my childhood bedroom, giving you a little bit about me and who I am and why I'm so thankful for this scholarship. So a little bit about me, I am currently the digital director for KentWire.com, our student-run news website where I kind of manage all the online content and how it gets sent out on our social media platforms. Previously, I worked more with the television and broadcast side, TV2 News at Kent State, um, you know, serving roles as producer of our political affairs show, anchor, um, reporter, and last semester news director when the coronavirus pandemic hit, which did pose some challenges, but I was able to spearhead our effort to move all of our newscasts online in a remote and digital format. Um, these experiences at Kent State have allowed me to gain internships in the field, such as WKYC3 News in Cleveland and WKBN in Youngstown. Um, I currently still work for WKYC in Cleveland as an assignment editor on the weekends. I was interning during the semester, but, um, you know, due to the pandemic that was kind of put on hold, but I still, you know, see how the news process works during the weekend and, you know, make calls for breaking news and confirm information there. Now, I had the opportunity to study abroad in Florence, Italy during the fall 2019 semester, and this was one of the most amazing experiences and it felt like a vacation at times. You know, I traveled to eight different countries across Europe and over 25 cities, but the most interesting and most impactful moment was when I volunteered to teach English at the Italian Geographic Military Institute. Um, where I worked with local Italians, not only on verb conjugation, something we really don't think about in English, but, um, you know, conversations and talking about policy and daily life and different cultural expectations. One thing I do want to stress is that I couldn't have done all these things without the support of the Knight Foundation. Obviously, I did study abroad and that can be very expensive and I did have to take an unpaid internship two summers ago. So I was trying to balance, you know, working while doing the internship and, you know, my outside life. So being able to have these, this scholarship allowed me to explore my curiosities and focus on my academics and learning and my my passions rather than worrying about the financial burden, which really helped me excel. It truly is an honor to have my achievements recognized in the name of a scholarship of such a renowned journalist, and I cannot thank the John S. Knight Memorial Journalism Fund enough for truly investing in my future, no matter what it may entail. I'm still considering law school due to my interest in law and policy and possibly advocacy in the future, but if I don't do that, I would love to stick with local news and report on people in the everyday community and give a voice to the voiceless because I've had opportunities to, you know, report and give life to figureheads such as Senator Sherrod Brown, Jerry Springer, and the former British ambassador, but I find it the most inspiring when I 
give a voice to people who don't have a platform. I also wanted to thank my professor and student media advisor, Susan Zaik. She's been a valuable resource over the last four years, um, whether it's on stories or leadership in the newsroom or just my career in general. So I really appreciate her always being available and always being willing to deal with me no matter how frantic I am. She has been a great and valuable resource to me. I'd also like to thank my professor, Gretchen Hoke. She was my broadcast reporting professor and reporter and professor in reporting public policy and really just instilled that I can't have that career in broadcast no matter if it comes naturally or not and she really gave me that confidence boost I needed. Um, and lastly, I'd like to thank my parents for always believing in me and encouraging me to keep that drive and passion I have for journalism uh, no matter how crazy and dramatic my dreams and goals may be. So I thank them for always letting me come back here and live with them and um, you know, really encouraging me to keep up with my goals. But that's all I have time for. So thank you all so much again and have a great holiday season. Alexandria Gray of Kent State University, described by one faculty member as a dynamo in our student media operation. Her versatility, creativity, and energy are amazing to witness. Hi, <laughs> um, my name is Alex Gray and I am one of the lucky students that uh, is a recipient of the John S. Knight Scholarship this year. I just want to say thank you um, to the committee first. I also want to thank um, Sue Zaik who, and um, Jan Leach who both helped me a lot and I mean like a lot a lot when it came to applying for this scholarship um, they very much were like you got to apply you got to apply and I was like okay but I'm really happy that I did um, so I want to thank you both for helping me so much you guys are literally who I talk about the most when it comes to who has influenced me the most at um, Kent State so thank you both so much um, Sorry, as you can see, this is not the first time I've tried to film this, so I was a little teary-eyed in the last take. So let's see where this goes. Um, when I first opened the email, well, I didn't even open it. I just read the subject line and I was like, no, I'm not gonna read this. I'm too scared, I don't wanna know. Um, and then of course, I am nosy, I'm a journalist. So I read it and I literally fell on the floor. I was just so shocked that I got it. And I immediately, immediately ran into my mom's room, jumping up and down and being like, mom, I did it. It happened. I got, I got it. It happened. What? Dad. And seeing her face. And then when my dad came home and being able to kind of be like, I did it. I got a scholarship and it's a really good one and I'm really proud of myself and seeing how proud of you he was of me was one of the best feelings in the world. Their faces are like in my mind forever when I got to tell them that. They were just so proud of me and without them I wouldn't be at Kent State. Without them I wouldn't even be in journalism. Without my dad, MD, without you, I would not be in journalism. I want you to know that. <laughs> um, you really pushed me a lot. Dang it. <laughs> you really pushed me a lot to dream and to work really hard on something that a lot of people didn't think that I was capable of. And I appreciate you so much for that because I'm having so much fun and I love the life that I'm living and I want you to know that without you, I would not, I would not be who I am at all. You are with me always. I think about you all the time when making decisions and even if it's just the simple ones, I always think, what would MD do? What would he say to me? How would I fix this situation? So um, I just want you to know that. And then mom, <laughs> oh no. Okay, mom, it's been you and me since day one. It's been you and me day one. And without you, I don't know what I would do. I wouldn't be as happy. I wouldn't be as lively. I wouldn't be me. And you worked so hard to make sure that I always came first and getting this scholarship 
to me meant that you could sometimes come first and you could always come first because you always come first to me. So thank you all for um, allowing me to give my parents a little bit more freedom when it comes to financial stuff. Now I can kind of do some things on my own and I appreciate that immensely. So thank you again and love you guys. Zaria Johnson of Kent State University, who says that one thing she has learned at Kent is that there are too few stories about people in real need. She wants to convey their hardships or tell the stories that now go untold. Hi, my name is Zaria Johnson and I'm a junior journalism major with a double minor in creative writing and media advocacy at Kent State University. I'm so honored and grateful to have received a scholarship from the Knight Memorial Journalism Fund, seeing as scholarships and financial aid are largely how my mom and I can afford to pay for my college education. On top of that though, I feel that I sometimes doubt my own capabilities when it comes to journalism or being a journalist. And it's moments like these where I feel truly rewarded by and proud of the accomplishments I've made so far. Coming in as a freshman, stressing out over interviews I needed to get for writing across platforms, I don't think it even crossed my mind that I would be receiving a scholarship that's awarded to students who excel in journalism. I'd really like to start by thanking my mom who's always put me first and put effort into ensuring that I had the best education possible and I had everything I needed to succeed. She's always been my biggest advocate and supporter and I don't think there's anything that I could even do to begin to repay her for everything she's sacrificed and done for me. I'd also like to thank all of those professors and mentors I've had so far who have really just helped me build my skills and confidence that I needed to be a good journalist. Professor Candace Bowen, Professor Sue Zake, Professor John Kroll, Professor Connie Schultz, Professor Mark Turner, Kevin Dilley and Carl Shearhorn, thank you all for everything you've done for me since the beginning of my college career. All in all, thank you to everyone who supported me and uplifted me since I started here at Kent State. And a huge thank you to the Akron Press Club and the Knight Memorial Journalism Fund for awarding me with the John S. Knight Memorial Scholarship. Thanks. Owen McMillan of Kent State University who just keeps getting better as, he's, as he has taken on a range of tasks in Kent student media, from assignment editor to covering the men's basketball team. Oh, and he has a knack for making others better too. Hello, my name is Owen McMillan. I am a senior journalism student at Kent State University. I'm the sports editor for the Daily Kent Stater, our student paper. Uh, and I want to thank everyone at the John S. Knight Memorial Journalism Fund so much for the tremendous honor of receiving your scholarship for this fall semester. Uh, obviously, monetarily, $5,000 has a huge impact on me and my ability to continue to learn about journalism and continue to grow as a writer. It means so much to me and also the the validation of receiving this award. I've never received a, a journalism award before, so it's a, a really tremendous honor to receive my first one from uh, the Knight Memorial Fund. And uh, I want to thank, most of all, Carl Shearhorn, um, my advisor at the paper and a professor of mine who, for the I want to thank him for the obvious reason of pushing me to apply for the scholarship as well as writing my letter of recommendation. Uh, and also writing my letter of recommendation was uh, Sue Zake, our, the advisor for the student paper. Uh, and both of them, the what they wrote, obviously I, I really appreciate it for helping me receive this award. And they both helped me grow so much as a writer and as a journalist and as a person. And they're two extremely important people to me and I really appreciate them and all they've done for me. And then most of all, I want to thank uh, my parents who support me financially, emotionally, um, just have, I, I would not have been able to 
get through college and learn what I've learned and write how I write without them. Um, and then lastly, everyone at the, everyone in all my journalism classes, everyone who works at the paper, especially, uh, just all my, all my fellow students who at Kent State, uh, a school, I love this school so much and everyone here is so wonderful and I, I really appreciate I really appreciate everyone who everyone who's ever written for me, anyone who's ever edited my work. Um, they've all been so important to me. Uh, and I just hope to continue to grow as a writer in my last two semesters at Kent State and just graduate and write about write about really anything and everything that people need to know about. I just I love ed educating people, informing people, and um, I really appreciate the John S. Knight Memorial Journalism Fund for helping me and giving me that, that opportunity and giving me the, the validation of knowing that I can do this and that I am a an award-worthy journalist. So thank you. Lauren Sassola of Kent State University, who according to faculty members is one of the best student editors at the school, a great team player who works seamlessly with our leadership team to produce one of the best student newspapers and websites in the country. Hi everyone, my name is Lauren Sassola and I'm a senior journalism major at Kent State University and I am humbled and honored to be one of the recipients of a Knight Scholarship for 2020. This scholarship means a lot to me. When I first found out the news I was just overwhelmed with joy and I felt this wave of relief come over me. Um, I'd be lying if I said that I didn't shed a few tears when I found out the news. Um, Coming into college, I knew that I was going to have to pay for my tuition on my own, and this required me to, to work a lot of jobs to try and, try and lessen the amount of student loans that I was going to have to take out. And so coming into my last semester of college with a Knight Scholarship, it covered all of my expenses and, like I said, was such a huge wave of relief knowing that I didn't have to worry about paying for this last semester and I will be eternally grateful for that that peace that I felt from that. Thank you so much to the selection committee for for considering me and selecting me for this. There's so many people that have played a role in who I am now. I would love to thank all of the, all of the professors in the Kent State Journalism School for their guidance, their their intelligence and their support through, over the years, especially from Sue Zake, who is the newsroom advisor. Sue has stood by my side since I was a freshman. She is the definition of selfless. She is passionate about her work and she is there for her students no matter what. I am so grateful to Sue for the knowledge that she's given me, the millions of questions that she's answered that I've had, and all of the, the fun times that we've had, late nights in the newsroom or just meeting over Zoom this past year uh, trying to, to produce the paper. And Sue, it's been a great honor to be able to work with you and I've learned so much and I, I could not be the journalist that I am without Sue. Um, I'd also love to thank Carl Shearhorn for his mentorship, his support and guidance over the past three and a half years. He's, he's been an incredible resource and I'll be grateful to him for, for a long time. Um, I wanna thank my parents, Rick and Nancy, my sister, Aaron, my brothers, Matt and Daniel for their unwavering support as I went off to college and pursued a journalism degree. I'm grateful for their love and kindness and um, for all of that they have done for me as well. I want to thank anyone who's ever gifted me a journal. Um, I'm always always writing and so anytime I run out of pages I'm always looking for a new one and, and people always seem to show up and, and give me a new new journal so I'm really thankful to for all of the encouragement that I've had over the years to, to keep on writing and, and never stopping my creative process as a writer. Um, I'll be graduating in December and I will be moving to Denver, Colorado to be a missionary guide for an, a Catholic organization called Creatio, um, where I'll be leading and guiding experiences for people to help people encounter the beauty of creation and the creator. So my next few years do not involve the journalism industry directly, however I'll be writing and continuing to grow as a person throughout this experience um, and I can attract 
attribute a lot of the skills that I'll need to my journalism experience and so I'm really really excited for the future and again I just want to say thank you to, to everyone who has supported me and helped me along the way. I could not be here without you and I will be forever grateful to, to the Knight Scholarship Selection Committee for, for awarding me this scholarship because it's really made a huge impact and I'm, I'm eternally grateful so thank you very much. Each year, the Akron Press Club awards a $5,000 scholarship to an outstanding public relations student in honor of Budel Zabaggio, a longtime friend of the Press Club and a pioneer in advancing opportunities for women. Zabaggio was an award-winning journalist, author, and educator. She established the first public relations department for an Ohio hospital at Akron General Medical Center and became its first director. The 2020 Savaggio Scholar is Sophia Ionelli of Kent State University, who describes herself as an eternal student, determined never to let go of my eagerness to learn, help others, and build relationships in order to tell meaningful stories in the hopes of continuing to make a difference. Sophia received another Akron Press Club Scholarship last year. Hi everybody, my name is Sophia Ionelli and when you're watching this, I guess I will probably be a Kent State University graduate, which is crazy to say. Um, the past three and a half years have been such an amazing ride. To end it on a note like this is fantastic. I was lucky enough and I'm honored to have received the Ludell Savaggio Public Relations Award from the Akron Press Club. So my first biggest thank you is to the Press Club. I've sort of built a relationship with them over the past two years. I was lucky enough to win a scholarship from them last year as well. So in a way, the Press Club has kind of sponsored me for the past couple of years, which has just been amazing. What a wonderful organization. So my first and biggest thank you goes out to the Press Club. I also want to thank my family, uh, mom, dad, Danny, Maria, my siblings, um, thank you for your support, your unconditional love, uh, your encouragement for me to go after what I want and what I deserve. So I appreciate you all so much. I love you with my whole heart. I want to thank my friends. Uh, what a year it has been to have friends. It's so important. We take it for granted and I think a lot of us learned that. So thank you to all of my friends for just being there for me. My professors, this is another huge one. Uh, what a program to be a part of. PR Kent is, I will argue till the day I die, the best program there is. I might be a little bit biased, but I think it's true. Michelle, Steph, Luke, Tim, Cheryl, Evan, Candace, Jackie, every professor I've had that has helped me build my writing skills, my PR skill, all of my skills. Thank you so much. I would not be here without you. You all are so important to me. I will cherish the wisdom that you shared with us forever. Uh, I would not be here without you. So thank you so much to um, the college, the school of JMCU is what it used to be from the majority of the time I was there, but is now MDJ, uh, the School of Media and Journalism. I, Kevin Dilley, my boss, thank you. <laughs> He's my boss at Student Media, um, which gave me a wonderful opportunity to connect a little bit more with journalism and kind of mesh my love for PR and my love for media. So that was another wonderful experience that got me where I am today. So looking into the future, I'm currently in the job interview process, so send some good luck my way. I have some hopeful leads, um, so I'm really excited to see where that goes. Whether I end up kind of in the corporate sphere or in the agency life, I'm just ready to step in to my PR career and really start practicing what I've been learning for the past three and a half years and put it to use in the real world. So it's super exciting uh, to look forward. This has been such a tough year, so I want to say congratulations to everybody else that won a scholarship this year. We did it. Uh, this year has been so hard on 
pretty much everybody. It's an experience we never thought we would be going through um, during our time in college, but I think it's going to help shape us and help us grow and be that much more <laughs> adaptive and we're going to have that much more perseverance when it comes to our future in the workplace. So congratulations to everybody else as well. Again, thank you to the Press Club. Thank you to everybody. It's, this is such an honor um, and I'm excited to have had the chance to tell everybody how much they mean to me and um, thank everybody that got me where I am today. So thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your 2020 and let's look forward to an exciting 2021. Bye. The Akron Press Club also annually awards a $5,000 scholarship in memory of Russ Pry, who died in 2016 at age 58 in his ninth year as the Summit County Executive. Pry supported the Press Club through his annual State of the County Address. The 2020 Pry recipient is Rachel Karras of Kent State University, described by a fac one faculty member as full of drive, talent, common sense, humility, and a desire to, protect, to perfect our craft. Hello, my name is Rachel Karras, and I'm the recipient of the Russ Pry Akron Press Club Scholarship. I'm finishing out my senior year at Kent State University with a major in journalism and a minor in photojournalism. This scholarship really meant a lot to me because it meant I was able to focus on my studies my final year here at Kent State. I had been paying for my college all on my own since my freshman year, and I had been using scholarships through the university, loans, and some money my family had set aside. As I was nearing my senior year though, that funds were starting to run very low but this scholarship really helped me be able to focus on my studies instead of being worried about my financial situation. I would like to give thanks to the Akron Press Club and the John S. Knight Memorial Journalism Fund for awarding this scholarship to me. And I would like to thank my family and friends for supporting me through my entire college career as I work towards my degree. And I know that they will continue to support me into my future as I pursue a future in journalism and I look forward to being able to continuing to tell people's stories and share them with the world. Thank you. In recent years, the Akron Press Club has awarded two $5,000 scholarships to the generosity of Eileen Thong, a retired U.S. Army physician. She supports scholarships in memory of her father and his support for journalism and education. These two scholarships go to Samantha Farland of Kent State University, who wants to work one day for a company and organization that balances profit and purpose. At Kent, she has already gotten a good start in projects from advancing the mission of Kent State University's museum to running social media campaigns for the College of Business Administration. And Jana Miles of Kent State University who according to one letter of recommendation is a hardworking, gifted student who leads with grace, a warm smile, and a passion for the public relations field. She's a rising star. Hi everyone, my name is Jada Miles. I am a senior public relations student at Kent State University from Canton, Ohio. I graduated from Canton South in 2017. Um, I would like to share how honored I am to be a Akron Press Club scholarship recipient. Um, special thanks to Eileen Thong for her contribution. Um, this scholarship definitely has helped me as a public relations student um, in my journey. And then I also want to give a special thanks to Kent State University, specifically the PR program there. Um, I want to name a couple people that have helped me with my journey as a student. Um, Michelle Ewing, Stephanie Moore, Cheryl Lambert, Luke Armour, Timothy Roberts, and so many more. Um, thank you guys for all your help and your guidance um, and all the opportunities you guys provided me um, in these past four years as a student. I definitely wouldn't be where I am today with all your help. Um, so after graduation in May, I hope to find a position in corporate public relations or somewhere within the entertainment industry. I'm really looking forward to um, seeing where I go within these next few years. And I just finally want to say again, thank you so much for the scholarship. I'm honored and thank you for this opportunity. 
Those are our nine scholarship recipients. Congratulations to each one, to their parents and their professors. Much appreciation goes to the Akron Press Club and the scholarship committee led by Mark Turner that made the selections. Our hope is that the new year will bring enough relief from the pandemic that we will again celebrate the scholarship recipients at a luncheon next spring. Thank you.